The Department of Sustainable Development officially hands over 1,050 gallons of fluoride-free firefighting foam to the St. Lucia Fire Service to replace aqueous film forming foam to fight flammable liquid fires. Aqueous film forming foams contain forever chemicals that can cause serious health problems in people, including cancer, and can also be harmful to aquatic and land organisms. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Sustainable Development, Anita Mantout, pledges continued support to the fire service in this phase out effort. The foams provided here are a fraction of what is required for comprehensive fire protection, especially in critical zones such as the airport and industrial facilities. This awareness motivates us to continue our efforts and to collaborate with our department and other agencies and partners to ensure that St. Lucia can fully transition away from the harmful foam in, every, in the very near future. An appreciative acting divisional officer at the fire service, Jermaine William, hopes that this gesture is the beginning of a long-term relationship with the Department of Sustainable Development to improve conditions for firefighters. We are grateful that we have gotten to this point and that we can start our transition as a department. We will not only stop with the firefighting foam and, like I said, we will not stop with the foam only and not stop with George Charles as well, but we will continue until we um, basically transition our international airport, which is in the south, and all the fire stations around St. Lucia. The donation includes special containers to collect the rinse water from the clean-out of the aqueous film forming foam from the fire services tanks, hydrants, and piping works before the fluoride-free alternative is added. The containers will then be shipped abroad for appropriate disposal. Funding for these resources is made possible through the Jeff 5558 project entitled Development and Implementation of a Sustainable Management Mechanism for Persistent Organic Pollutants POPs in the Caribbean, executed by the Basel Convention Regional Center for Training and Technology Transfer for the Caribbean. For the Department of Sustainable Development, I am Jessie Leons reporting.